Let yeah. me ask you this. Um, yeah. you know, we have you here. We want to take advantage of the time we have with you. Share with our audience, how did you get your start in ministry? Okay, I, I grew up in a family that uh, that believed that Christ is Lord. Mm -hmm. And the thing is that there were certain things you could do in my household. My mom, my dad, they were believers. And of course, like coming up like anyone else, you know, you're going to try to do some things that you love to do. I come from a family full of talent. So I love to act. I love to sing. I love to write, to produce. And, and I love every aspect of entertainment. Matter of fact, I believe that I was born to perform. And so it was always my dream to be on a global stage. It was never my dream just to do the Christmas play or what they call it the time the Easter play it wasn't right. just that but those were times that I was being prepared for global ministry those were times in the in the house of God where I was prepared uh, to stand before crowds even in the seventh grade I had a teacher that um you know they used to make me read when other students used to add words and they they used to say stuff she used to make me read they used to hate me and I used to act like I couldn't read because they were like oh boy oh he makes me say but I didn't understand that God had put that woman in my life to prepare me to speak to a mass of people mm -hmm. and, and so I thank God for that but what happened was of course course recording and doing demos someone heard my music and it passed around and it got to the right person and you know and, and they set up a meeting with me and you know I did two um two independent deals prior to my major deal deal with Jive Records and that deal with Jive Records came to Mr. Andre Harrell who was running Bad Boy at the time and of course um, that was the first in history of not a gospel rapper or a holy hip hopper but I say them I signed a mainstream hip hop deal with a mainstream label we don't get into the whole thing about secularism because the thing is we have dominion over everything when we connect with the King of Kings and so the thing is that it was the first time any artist has signed a global hip hop mainstream uh, recording contract and rep the kingdom of God on a global hip hop platform wow, in wow. the major marketplace. Wow, so that's wow. what God allowed me to do in pioneering marketplace music.